Jim Malusa is a botanist and a writer living in Tucson, Arizona. But his real passion is biking around the world, downhill. Well, I've always had a tendency, ever since I was a kid, to go in the other direction. And so, when other people went up, I decided to go down. From Australia's Lake Erie, to the Dead Sea, to Lakasal in Africa, he biked right into sandy pits, hundreds of feet below sea level. He's a desert guy, and not surprisingly, that's what he found in those low places. Well, all of the, the Great Depressions of the world are closed basins, and the water collects down there and evaporates and leaves salts that pretty much prohibit most forms of life right at the low point itself. The surprise was finding out that the deserts surrounding the pits could be so lively like that, particularly Australia, where the desert uh, resembles Arizona without cactus, but it's inhabited by these, these enormous shrieking birds. Uh, there's parrots and cockatoos. And he found one very special desert oasis. The surprise of Turpan, 500 feet below sea level and the hottest place in China, was discovering that there were many, many people living there and they've lived there for several thousand years. It was kept going by a system of canals that were, that were underground, built during the days of the Silk Road, and now support a, a system of poplar trees and grapes and melons. After his six-year adventure into the lowest unexplored places, it's time for Jim to go back to work as a scientist. Currently I'm mapping the vegetation of southwestern Arizona, the desert naturally, my natural habitat.